Hey Comets, welcome to another video. Uh, as promised, we're going to go through the third page for week four, which is the packet for April 20th. It looks like this. This is the page that I'm looking at. I'm going to call this page three. Uh, the previous video we talked about using ratios to scale up and scale down to convert measurements. Basically going to be doing the same thing, except now the problems are more wordy, also known as word problems. And we're just going to need to kind of sift through the information to figure out what we need to do. All right, so it says use the table and scale up or down to calculate each measurement conversion. Round your answers to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So the table they're talking about is this one right here. Okay, we're going to be scrolling back up to that, so keep that handy. Uh, number one says Rosa drove 175 miles to visit her grandparents. How many kilometers did she travel? So really, what we could do is translate that to a sentence like this, right? Um, basically, what they're saying is how many kilometers is in 175 miles? Or I could write it like this. Number one, 175 miles equals blank kilometers. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to look at that chart to find from miles to kilometers. So let's go look at that chart and see if we can find kilometers and miles. And I think we're going to find two different things here. Okay? We found this one, which goes from miles to kilometers, and this one goes from kilometers to miles. Now we want to go from miles to kilometers. So let's do this one right here. The one mile equals 1.61 kilometers, because I think that's going to be a little bit more helpful for us. Now, could you use the other one? Sure, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Okay, so we're going to go with this statement. And then remember, the next step is to write that equal statement into a ratio. So I'm going to put one mile on top and 1.61 kilometers on the bottom. Again, it doesn't matter which one's on top, which one's on bottom. It could be flip-flop. What matters is, in this next ratio that I write, that I put miles across from each other. So that's why I need to put 175 right here. And since I'm looking for how many kilometers, I'll put question kilometers. All right, I could put a variable there. That's fine, too. Okay, so next, I need to scale up or scale down. And looking at this, I'm definitely scaling up because I go from 1 to 175. And that means I multiply, multiply by 175. So that means I need to do the same thing to the bottom. So I'm going to multiply 1.61 times 175, and that should give me my answer. So let's go to the calculator. There we go. So 1.61 times 175. And here's my answer. Now, the instructions were round to the nearest hundred if need be. I don't need to because this gives me the answer exactly to the hundredths place. All right, so 281 and 75 hundredths kilometers is my answer. Again, that would tell me what goes in this blank right here. Okay, that's really all that I need to do in this problem. Okay, again, let's double check though, make sure we're answering the question being asked. It's always a good idea. It asked, how many kilometers did she travel? If we were writing this in word form, we would say she traveled 281 and 75 hundredths kilometers. Okay, that's what it would look like. Okay. Probably you would write it straight across, though. I kind of went down. Whoops. All right. So that's the basic idea of these problems. Okay. Look for the information given and then use that to find uh, what they're asking for. All right. Let's scroll down to the stretch your thinking. Okay. And let's see what they're asking in these problems. It says, how many inches are in 32 centimeters? Now, that's kind of weird. That just seems basically what we were doing before. Okay, why does this stretch your thinking? Well, we'll see, maybe. Um, I want to know blank number of inches equals 32 
centimeters. Hmm. Well, let's look up at our table and let's see what they tell us here. Inches and centimeters. Inches, centimeters. Oh, here we go. I have inches here and I have centimeters here. Okay. And let me close my email here. Sorry if you saw that. Inches and centimeters. Yeah, here we go. I think I'm going to go with that one. So one centimeter equals 0 0.39 inches. Okay, I like that. All right. So we're going to use that to answer this question. So how, you might ask, well, I'm taking this equation statement and I'm turning it into a ratio. One centimeter equals 0 0.39 inches, and that's going to equal 32 centimeters, because remember we want the centimeters to be on top, and then I don't know how many inches that is, so question mark, inches. Then I ask myself, am I scaling up or scaling down? Definitely scaling up from 1 to 32, and scaling up, multiplying it by 32, and I need to go to my calculator and ask, what is 0.39? times 32, my answer, 12 and 48 hundredths, and that would be in inches, okay? So to answer the question, how many inches are in 32 centimeters, 12 and 48 hundredths inches, so almost 12 and a half inches, okay? Now, sometimes we get scared and we see stretch of thinking, we think, oh, this is too hard, guys, try it, all right? That one wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, all right? Maybe some of the other ones are going to get more challenging, but always try. Um, no harm in trying. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families, and I'll see you next time. Bye.